Good evening, this is Keith Thal, and in today's lesson we're going to learn how to create anchor menus using the Cheetah Builder within the Builder All platform. So right now I'm in my back office and I have a sample website up. And so basically um, I have a number of different pages for this particular website. And we're just going to go into the main page uh, that I uh, created and named it Home. So I'm going to click on Edit Page. Give it a few seconds to load. And once it does load, um, I'm going to show you that I already have a menu um, added to my page. So here it is. The menu is already set up here. So basically what I your first step to create anchor menus is you have to go to your panel uh, element and set that uh, uh, as an anchor and name it to whatever that you want. So basically a panel is a section for each one of your uh, on your pages. So right now this could be the home section or home panel. This could be uh, uh, a different section or panel. The same thing with here. This is another panel. So let's go ahead and um, let's do the first step. So what you want to do first is click on your panel element. And how you know that is basically when you click on an element, it'll say panel up here. And it'll also say over here on the right hand side panel. So if I click on this one here, it's actually a, a box. So this is a box right here. So if I click edit, um, then this area over here changes back the box so you know that you're editing the box element so let's go back to panel and uh, I'm gonna edit the panel element now so if you come over here to the right and if you scroll down over here you want to select the advanced option down here at the bottom so if you click on that let's scroll down and now you see this anchor option or section here. What you want to do is you want to make that active. And you can call it whatever that you whatever you want. So I'm just going to say home and it's already um, entered as home. So now let's scroll down and let's uh, um, uh, say let's click on this panel right here. So we know that it's the panel element, and we're going to edit it. We're going to come over here, and we're going to scroll down, and we're going to um, select it or make it active, this anchor. Now we're just going to call it uh, about... us right there and now let's uh, make another uh, uh, area here let's click on this panel let's edit it and let's make that active we're going to call this services so we went ahead and did that now let's scroll back up to the top and let's click on this menu element and again we know that uh, the menu element is active because you show this right here it says menu and over here on the right hand side it's got menu here so what we want to do is now we want to set each one of these menu items so when we click on it it's going to scroll down to the section or panel that's named after services or about us or home so what we want to do is we want to select this little icon here it says CT option configure items so we're gonna click on that 
and um, we're going to uh, click on um, the item right here or edit element. Okay. Just a second. So what we want to do is actually select not the edit element, but we want to set uh, uh, the link. So we could click on that, and now uh, for the home uh, anchor or home panel, we want it to go to this anchor. So what when I clicked on that link icon previously it's going to bring up your anchor and it's going to select all the anchors that we've already created so we have the option of selecting any one of these so since i selected the anchor icon next to the home uh, page i'm going to select this one click on save in about us i'm going to select about us anchor and make sure, of course, make sure you're under the anchor tab here. Click save. And for the third one, I want to set the link. Give it a few seconds to load. Okay, anchor. And then I'm going to select the services. So I'm going to click save. And then we have to save again. Okay, now we want to make sure we come over here to the right, top right, click on save. Give it a few seconds, and it says save. Do you want to publish this site? In other words, do you want to publish the changes that you just made? And I'm going to select, select that's fine. And now it gives me the option of going to the website address. So what, is, what it's going to do is click on uh, open up a new tab. And now we're on that page that we just edited. And now when I select these items here, it's going to scroll down to that section or panel. So let's scroll back up. Let's go to amount, about us. And it scrolls right to that section or panel that we defined to be the anchor for that menu item. Let's go back up, select home, and there you go. And that's how you can set up anchor points or anchors within um, uh, BuilderAll using the Cheetah Builder um, section. So if you have any questions, uh, please comment below. If you have any uh, ideas on on things that you can accomplish with the Builder All platform uh, using the Cheetah Builder. Again, put it in the comments below. And I want to thank you very much for stopping by today. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and click on that bell notification so you always get updated when I have a new video ready. And again, thanks again. Please like, share, and comment. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.